Hiya, it's Goblin Senchman here. So today I released a video about using Excel as a sort of widget to produce um, 3D looking dungeons like this. Now it's just really a case of using the appropriate shading scheme to give this optical illusion. Um, so in this video, the previous video of today, I showed you how you basically put in the sort of um, flagstone level like this and then you manually go around and you shade all the bits to give it the, the 3D effect. And it was all right and serviceable enough. But in the meantime, after doing this, a YouTube user called Luna Jin came to me and said, why don't you write a macro, some Visual Basic, that'll put the shading in for you. Well, first of all, I thought, well, is that going to work? Because it's just um, too 3D for it to kind of be intelligent enough to figure out how to do it. Anyway, while I was busily doubting Luna Jin, uh, they came back to me and said, here's the macro. So, you know, clearly they're far, far cleverer than me. And um, also know how to write a macro because it's something I'm not particularly good at. Anyway, I'm waffling. So here we go. This is what, what, it, um, what it does. So you draw your base level like this. So, for example, you can, uh, you know, just pull on it like that in Excel. Look at my other video about how, you, how if you don't know how to sort of manipulate Excel to copy you know, do sheets like this, uh, sort of expand cells, to, you know, copy the one before. And all you do, thanks to Lunagin, is you press this auto wall. And here you go, and the macro just gets on with it. So I think first of all it does this this layer here, the sort of, sort of top um, side of the walls. Then it does the ceiling level, or, you know, I don't know what you want to call that, the top of the blocks. And after it finishes with the top of blocks, it then does this undershading to give the, the 3D effect. Now, to be fair, I think Luna said that they haven't optimised this macro. It was the sort of first thing they did as a proof of concept. And it could be made better if if, pe you know, if it seems to chug too much or something. Now, um, t to me, it looks brilliant. It looks perfectly great. Um, but I I'm no expert, I suppose. But if you do encounter any weird glitches, then uh, by all means, um, please let us know and hopefully we can work together. I'm speaking for Luna, they haven't offered to help me, but um, <laughs> hopefully they, they will. Um, you might want to open this entrance up now because it does thematically seal it. And the thing that we did add to it um, was this remove walls because there's a certain scenario where you might want to um, remove the walls so that you can actually um, maybe see clearly what you've done if you want to say add a room or something so I think it's quite a, a useful feature so here it is just stripping away the walls so that you get back down to the, the base level again um, so here it goes so you know that, that's pretty much it um, I might as well just you know do something that proves that it's uh, um, that it's that it's you can edit it and then restart again. Yeah, it's chugging now, of course. Right, let's just draw a little loop. Actually, one thing I haven't tested, it's probably a terrible time to test it, is if I put a door in. <laughs> oh dear. What a terrible time to test it while I'm doing a video. Oh well, let's see what happens. Let's put a door in. One vertical door and one horizontal door. Right, let's auto ball it again. So far, so good. Anyway, I want to say a big thank you to Luna Jin, who basically completely unprompted has turned this tool from being a kind of, um, you know, all right thing that you can go. And to be honest, I quite enjoy shading, but um, this certainly takes the, the grunt out of it. You know, I think it's going to cope. Anyway, there you go. Download it, give it a go. If you, if you like it, um, Give us some feedback because then we, you know, maybe me and Luna can uh, work on improving it. But as it is, I think uh, it, it serves its purpose.